these interviews, these these conversations, and I wouldn't have said that though. I, once you start dropping numbers of how much money you make, that make people turn on you. We're talking about well, how much money I made doing the Cat Williams interview. I just got the check. Oh, mm -hmm. they be hating on you at mm -hmm. that point. Put it like this here: I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Like, I like to get get people who don't do a lot of interviews. Like, I, I love the Dallas Austin interview. None other than Mr. Dallas Austin. Come on, man. Dallas Austin, that, Dallas that was Austin. a good one. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I think I, I was, man, like I said, I, I love a total mob, man. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That nigga just went viral as hell on my show, man. Man, I still ain't that got nigga them said, niggas on uh, What that nigga tell the last one? He said Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. died in 1979. Then it went viral. I'm going to watch that. He said it was man. a clone. After that, it's been K a problem. K-Dub just called me. He said, boy, e, I told you, you let anybody say anything. Nigga, that nigga ain't I said, he called me back. He had his date wrong. He said, 1984, Damn. when the Pepsi commercial happened. I said, man, this shit and crazy. And killed him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas come up with some serious stuff. Man, so I didn't really realize, and I'm going to go back to the Shannon Sharp thing, that that 50, I think they had 50 million I think it's 50 something million now. It's almost, no, it's 60 million. Mm. I didn't know that's the most watched now interview on YouTube. It is? Yeah. Oh, Cat William went to the most, that's the most viral, that's the most watched. It was Joe Rogan. Now it's that one. I'm watching them. I'm like, this shit, Good. wow. Good. Man, when you're talking you about that, I just saw where it, um, an article that says Shannon Sharp made more from that Cat Williams interview than he made in one NFL season. <laughs> I got me a little something today with him. Look at that with your. Oh. Yeah, that's that's great. This that damn is, internet, that's motivation for me. This internet changing things, bro. These interviews, these these conversations, and I wouldn't have said that though. I, once you start dropping numbers of how much money you make, that make people turn on you. We're talking about well, how much money I made doing the Cat Williams interview. I just got the check. Oh, they be hating on you at that mm -hmm. point. Put it like this here: I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. They're gonna start hating. They're gonna start hating. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd rather give them a reason to hate, man. I'm gonna have to try to get this money. Yeah, man. but whether don't you drop it, they ain't gonna tell them. They ain't gonna tell them. They don't tell them. But whether you drop it or not, can people still figure it out? Especially with the social media, because so many people doing podcasts. You know, when you hear one person over here say, you know, they make X, Y, Z for you know this content, but you know he just did that and he made way more than anybody else ever made. Well, I don't then, know. Did you see the girl who did the Fifty Part series mm -mm. on TikTok? She What's got, that? She was talking about the dude she was dating. He was a compulsive liar or whatever. Mm -mm. So she made a 50-part series, and that did like 50 million views. And she said they demonetized her page. They Damn. couldn't afford to pay her no more. Yeah, they could afford it. They just... Why they would it demonetize Because that's what I was telling you about these platforms. It's yeah. they, that's a push of a button. Mm -hmm. It's just a push it's of a button. It's just a push of a button. And say, hey, you violated this, or you said the cuss word, or you were smoking, or you you just, your page too raw. We can't pay you for that. Mm -hmm. You ain't following our guidelines. And well, what are they? You too, signed no, up, they or you supposed it. to read it. They exactly. change it too. In the midst of you being on YouTube, I remember yeah. about a year ago, mm -hmm. the, they started saying you couldn't curse, but it, it within the first eight, Eight seconds or something. Something like that. And then they switched it and they said, nah, it can't be done in the first minute. That messed up thing, you lose your now. It, it just steadily be messing with you. You be right. trying to figure it out and they change it. That's that's what I'm telling you, isn't it? They don't, it ain't got nothing to do with us. They could just go off them young white boy streamers. Whatever they doing. They the ones who make the platform mm -hmm. when they get to playing them games and streaming and doing all that. They, they're the ones who really drive the the monetization. They be cussing and doing all sorts of stuff too. Exactly, but they know when to do it, mm -hmm. and they wow. know how to manipulate the rules because they they know the they know the they guy connected. At, at YouTube. They connected. Yeah, they get to come out there once a year and play games with them, and whatever they doing, they gonna make mm -hmm. sure that they get compensated for. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, we gonna talk.